Let's roll the clock back to 1943. That's right, height of World War II. The M4 Sherman was all the rage in Europe. The Germans had big old heavy tanks like the Tiger and the Panther rolling around. And we in the in over here in America were looking at this situation and going, you know, we need a heavy tank. And of course, there'd been several options along those lines. They had the M6, they had the uh, the T1E1. But even as they were messing around with these, and these projects were actually getting canceled because, hey, the M4 Sherman was doing the job. Well, somebody said, you know, we're arming this heavy tank with a 76 millimeter gun, this T1E1. And there's just the possibility, just maybe the possibility that the 76 millimeter just can't do the job. So let's make it bigger. That's right. They stuck a 90 millimeter cannon inside one. It sounds like just one singular T1E1 and ran it through its paces to see what it would look like. By the way, I'm Old Dead Man, your host. Welcome to War Thunder's website. We're looking at the first dev blog of the new patch season. That's right. We're adding another T1E1, making it the last and ultimate in the American heavy tank World War II line. Now, if you're already familiar with the T1E1 and the M6A1, well, you're already on the same page as everybody else. This, these are familiar tanks in War Thunder. They were really not, they never saw active service because the M4 Sherman was doing the job. And they end up being just primarily light uh, production prototypes, not actually uh, put into service. But this upgun T1E1 with a 90 millimeter was, as I said, a one-off prototype. They crammed a 90 millimeter gun into the turret. They discovered that, yes, it would work. Yes, the ergonomics inside the turret were awful. And they said, okay, we'll just put that over there on the shelf and call it a day. So that's what we've really got coming to War Thunder is another T1E1, this time with that upgun 90 millimeter that has access to all the relevant 90 millimeter ammunition. Should be a good tank. Now the T1E1 right now is it's 5.3, I believe it is. This upgunned one is probably going to be at more like 6.0 or 6.3. Now, that will mean that it's pretty much facing everything that can kill it outright. They're easy enough to kill already with the things at 5.3. After all, they've got these flat, slabby sides that just are, are easy to penetrate for most of the ammunition at those BRs. As a, with a larger gun and a higher BR, the odds are this will be quickly killed in most every combat. So what do you think of this little addition to War Thunder, the T1E1 90mm? Let me know in the comments below. Give it that old thumbs up if you enjoyed this very brief video. And, uh, you know, let me know what your thoughts are as well. You have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.